top four, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I was born to do. It's just one of those things that you dream about. It's the biggest thing that happened to me in my whole life. It's a one-shot deal for me, and I'm trying to go to the moon with it. This is a time for them to really, really step up and let it go. These are the most important couple of weeks in your life. So let's really make it count. You gave it 100%. You're so good, and you sang that so good. Dude, that was brilliant. You guys sounded really good. Nice one, nice one. This is you fighting to stay in the competition. You, Crystal, are back in the game. I loved it. It was amazing. One of my favorite moments of the entire season. Yeah. Welcome your host, Ryan Seacrest. Welcome. Good to have you with us. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Thank you, sir, for standing. I appreciate it. How are you? Welcome to American Idol. It is Wednesday, and thanks to you at home, because almost 37 million votes came in last night. That is the highest of the season. This evening, the top four become three, and the race to the finale is tighter than ever. But that's not all. Bon Jovi will take the stage live. Yeah! Plus, we have season three winner Fantasia is here tonight. And a performance from the guy who knows just how difficult this exact elimination is. Daughtry live on the stage here tonight. And your judges are here as well. Say hi to Randy Jackson. Yeah. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Karen Aguardi. Yes. Yeah. And Simon Cowell. Yeah. 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 Good. 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 Let me remind you again. The top ten idols will kick off their cross-country tour July 1st. In Auburn Hills, Michigan, tickets go on sale, Simon, this weekend. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. So, AmericanIdol.com for more information. I'll be that. Get yours now. <laughs> hey, back in season three, she went on that tour and since has gone on to have a very prolific career with Bittersweet. Please welcome live right now, Fantasia. <laughs> As over you as I say Oh, deep inside my heart I made the right decision But it's kind of hard 
when your mind is thinking of oh, hey. Did I make the big mistake? Even though I left you, can't forget you. Oh, when I think about you, hey, yeah, it's bittersweet. She so have to understand that somebody's gonna get hurt out of this situation. And you just hope that it's not you. Listen, at times, part of me wants you, part of me don't. Part of me is missing you, part of me is gone. Part of me is saying that the love is still strong. Part of me is letting go. So even though I let you, can't forget. Fantasia! Hey! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good! You look great. Thank you. You know, you gotta learn to sing with some heart. <laughs> so that's your first single from a new album coming out this summer. Tell me about the music on the album. Well, you know, it's been three years too long since I had an album out, and everybody knows that I'm a soul singer, and I don't like to hide or run from that that I am. So this album right here is much soul. Um, I wrote some stuff on the album and I uh, work with a lot of great people, Claude, Kelly. Um, so it's, it's, it's been too long. It's time for me to have an album out right now. Last time we uh, saw you here competing, I think your daughter was what? Two. two years old. How's she doing? She's nine now. I know. So Simon's height. <laughs> she's a little bit taller than Simon. <laughs> But she's mine now, and uh, she's doing pretty good. She's doing good. Well, it's so good to have you back. Nice Thank to see you. you. Fantasia, everybody. <laughs> when we come back, the results begin. Who makes the cut? Find out live after this. <laughs> back with you live on American Idol. We're down to just four contestants, Mike, Casey, Lee, and Crystal, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are together on these stools. And here is one of their final appearances as a group in the form of this week's Ford music video. Take a good look. Com to view all the four music videos and see how you could be on the set of one of them and get seats in our audience. While you're there, find out how you could drive an American Idol-inspired Ford Fiesta. Now, as most Idol fans know, the contestants who survived this cut not only make it to the top three, but they get to go home and they receive a hero's welcome. There's a parade, an appearance at a local AT&T store, there's a mini concert, and so much more. It's always been an amazing event. Check this out. 
We are going home to Arkansas. Smells like home! Sweet home Alabama! Do I go? All day is David Cook Day in Kansas City. Today is officially Elliot Yamin Day here in the city of Richmond. It is my pleasure to give you a key to the city. Woo! I think tonight is a day? It's a whole day! Oh my gosh! <laughs> So thank you so much, guys. To find out where your favorite will be and which AT and store they will be visiting, the AT and T store that they'll be hanging out at, go to AmericanIdol.com. So how are you, gang? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. All right. Yeah. Mike, what are you looking forward to if you make it to the top three in terms of going back home and seeing? You know, I'm really looking forward to getting home to my puppy for a few minutes <laughs> and. Uh, Seeing my family that's still there and just smelling that beach, salty sea air in St. Pete. We've know? got that here. Might yeah, but it's not. But the humidity, man, is so different, you know? So <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting back home. Crystal, how about for you, if you go back? Um, obviously, my family and everything, but uh, I really want to play a gig with Frankie Mae, my <laughs> bass player. So um, go to the Village Idiot, Papa's Tavern, all the places that are really dear to my heart. Lee, when you watch those images, what do you think about? I want that to be me. <laughs> you know? And to get a chance to go back and, and say thank you to all the people that have been supportive to me, you know, in person, it, it, that, that would mean a lot to me. And just to, to be sitting in my parents' house, you know, having a conversation without any cameras, just, you know, me and my family, that's, that's important to me. So I'm looking forward to that. Casey, you realize the impact these trips have when you see the emotion on their faces and the tears in all those contestants' eyes. What do you think about if you were to go home and be in the top three? You know, seeing all my friends and family, obviously, smelling Texas air, seeing my puppy dogs, um, hearing a bunch of people say y'all would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck to all of you. Tonight on stage, we've got the families of the top four. Say hi, Fred. Yeah. Anxiously awaiting the results. We've got Team Mike, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Team Casey. Yeah. Team Lee. Yeah. And Team Crystal. Yeah. So what's it, what's it like to be up here now, looking that way? Incredible? Very wow. Very cool. Nerves? Very cool. Very cool. No. Yes. Let me feel your palms. Let's see. <laughs> no, they're fine. You're, you seem comfortable. Well, good luck to the families. Let's get to it. We'll see how it all goes down right now, ladies and gentlemen. These results in no particular order. Dim the lights. Here we go. Good luck to all of you. Please stand up, all four of you. Mike and Casey, you sang, Have You Ever Really Loved a Woman? After last night, we all know it's a yes from Ellen. Randy loved the guitar playing. Kara and Simon thought it was great and a million times better than the solo performances. Who picked the song between the two of you? How'd that come about? I picked that one. I just thought it would like really speak to who we are as men and who we wanted to talk to. And uh, I was super excited about it and, and he saw I was excited about it. So Yeah, he was so pumped up. I had another one in mind, but he was so excited about it. I just looked over and I was like, oh, so let's do this. You deferred? And it was, it was a good choice. All right, let's go to Crystal and Lee now. You two sang Falling Slowly. Randy thought the duet could be a hit. 
Ellen crowned you the new captain in Tennille. <laughs> Simon thought it was fantastic, and Kara said it was her favorite moment of the season. Crystal, you, you seem to be, at least to me, particularly pumped about doing that song. Why was that? Um, it's my favorite movie. It's uh, two singer-songwriters meet, and, you know, it's a love story that never happens. It's just a great movie, great song. Um, and I know Lee likes the song, too, so. Lee, um, your two cents? To be, to be honest, you know, it's funny, because three weeks ago, She's like, you gotta watch that movie. And uh, I got it, and I watched it, and I loved it. And we were given, you know, you know, the opportunity to sing it. It was like, the minute she mentioned it, it was like, that was it. And we just started rehearsing that second. So it was awesome. I it, loved was, it. it was meant to be. And it was late. fun rehearsing it, too. So <laughs> it was awesome. Here we go, guys. After the nationwide vote, Casey. You are safe and in the top three. Congratulations, Casey. Yeah! You may head to the couches with your family. So, Casey <laughs> is the first one in your top three, America. But who else will join him? Find out soon, and Daughtry's live next. Hang on. <laughs> Welcome back to American Idol. As a reminder, the music from last night is available for download on iTunes. The American Idol page is where you can find it all. Now we're going to bring out the guy who started his journey here on this stage. He and his band have sold millions of albums around the globe with September. Ladies and gentlemen, Daughtry. Have <laughs> the time passed away of the trouble that we gave And all those days we spent out by the way has it all gone to waste? All oh, the promises we made, one by one, be vanished just the same. Of all the things I still remember, summers never look the same. Years go by, time just seems to fly, and memories remain in the middle of September. Still play out in the rain With nothing to lose but everything to get Reflecting now on how things could have been Was worth it in the end Now it all seems so clear There's nothing left to fear So we made our way by finding and now the days are so long and That summer's moving on we we'll reach for something that's already Seems 
No question why they're selling out arenas all over the place. How, how does it feel to step into an arena and sing in front of those crowds? Uh, it, it doesn't get old. It's, it's an amazing feeling every night. And uh, we're fortunate we have fans that, that want to come out and see us. And, and we don't take that for granted. That song in September, I know, is very personal to you. Tell me right. about it. Well, I grew up in a small town of like 100 people and uh, oh. like very simple childhood and thinking about thinking back of those memories and how summer was like a big deal and then you get older and it's not so much anymore. <laughs> and uh, it just uh, reminded me of, you know, the simplicity of my childhood and how great it was and how it made me who I was or am rather. Oh, I want to ask the judges, Alan, for example, sitting there in the audience watching the contestants every week sitting there watching Daughtry perform. What's the difference and what can they take away from it, those who are still competing? Well, hopefully, I mean, look, they've gotten this far. There's not too much, you know, further to go. You've, you've seen these people that have made it. And I mean, I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so, I'm so proud of y'all. Um, I don't know, just, just give us that for the next uh, couple of weeks. Just give us that kind of 100%, which is what they just gave us. Randy, you feel a difference? Yeah, no, listen, you see that Chris is living the dream. He started on this stage, on this show. I mean, he's bigger than life now. He's great. This is what you aspire to be. So I love when these contestants come back and you guys see this. This is the dream that you want to have, man. And it's just, it feels good for us. I love it. I love it. What would you say to these guys, the ones that remain, make it through tonight into our top three? Uh, stay hungry. Um, Big you know, Mike, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> stay, uh, stay hungry and, and actually... Don't compromise the music that you love. Stay, stick with what's true to you. One of the best, ladies and gentlemen, the band Daughtry. We'll be back with results. Hang on. Back with you on American Idol. Your votes last night will be sending one person packing after they've come so close to stealing a spot in our finale. So far, Casey has survived the cut and made it into our top three. Yeah. But who else will join him? Bring down the lights, and here we go. Results in no particular order. Let's start with Mike. Michael Lynch, you sang, Will You Be There? from Free Willy. Randy and Simon didn't care for the song. Ellen thought it was predictable. Kara was hoping for goosebumps, but didn't get them. What were you looking for, Kara? What should he have done, in your opinion? It's what he did with women's work, really, where he took something that wasn't expected and did it in a way that was original and really expressed who he was as an artist. And was very connected and moved by it. Mike, talk about getting that song to where you wanted it. Was it tough for you? Yeah, it was tough. You know, it's a really big song, and yeah. you listen to Michael Jackson songs, and you're like, oh, that sounds so good. It's so effortless. And you don't realize that's his genius. And you try to sing it, and it's not tough. It's not something that you can just do in your sleep. You know, and it took time to prepare it and lock it into place and make it feel right in my spirit. And, you know, it was a song I was connected to just because it makes you feel uplifted, you know? So... Enjoy. All right, let's go to Lee. Lee DeWise. <laughs> you say Chris Malone from Batman Forever. Ellen thought you could have done more with the song. 
Kara felt you got lost in the arrangement. And again, Randy and Simon thought it was a poor song choice and it verged on karaoke. Did, did you feel that the criticism was validly? Um, I, as far as karaoke, I mean, no. But I mean, I, I, I mean, I, well, I don't because I really did put everything into it. But at the same time, I, I know that it's a very popular song and you probably can hear that at karaoke, you know, but I, w I don't think I sang at karaoke. And uh, I probably could have done more with the arrangement, but like, I've done a lot with a, a bunch of the songs I've done, and I just, I guess this one I just wanted to stay true with, but I, I'm happy with what I did last night, and um, I'm just hoping to move forward and, and do better. Well, hang tight for one second. Thank you, Lee. Crystal Bauer socks, everybody. She's saying, I'm all right, from Caddyshack. Randy appreciated that you switched it up. Ellen and Kara thought you made the song better than the original. Simon said, you are back in the game. Yeah. Simon, what, what did you see in terms of her redeeming herself? Uh, just It was just overall a much better performance. I thought the last two weeks before that were okay, and this was the artist which we, we fell in love with um, a few weeks ago. So I, I, I meant what I said on the night. You're back in the game. You got a real shot. <laughs> Here we go, guys. After the nationwide vote, Mike, hang tight for a second. Lee. Friends, Lee is headed back to Chicago. To celebrate! Crystal, who goes home, find out what you decided after Bon Jovi rocks the stage next. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Idol tonight, if you can hear me. If you want to keep any of the music you heard last night, head to iTunes to download it all. We're putting the results on the back burner for a second as we welcome to the stage a legendary band that's been selling out stadiums around the world for over 25 years. With Superman tonight, Bon Jovi!
So, come on, gang. All right. Number one touring band in the world. Another number one album. How is it that you guys can continue to do this year after year? Well, you know, hard work, good luck, you know, good friends that put us, you know, in the right position. Are, are you still impressed when you hit these arenas and you see the crowds? Humbled. You know, I mean, we've crossed generations now at this point, so it's just, it's really great because. Well, you don't look around, it, which drives a lot of us crazy. That's all good. Well, so, you know, the harder we look, uh, work, the luckier we get. You know, it's just pretty much the way it is. Congratulations on all the success. Bon Jovi is amazing. I'd say get a ticket, but you're sold out of here. <laughs> on the other side of the break, more results. Either Michael or Crystal lead the stage tonight. Live next. Thanks again. Back with you live. An intense moment on this stage. So far, Casey and Lee are safe. They're on the couch. They have made it into our top three. So what have you guys been talking about since you've been safe the last couple of minutes? Um, well, I'm just taking it all in right now still, but uh, <laughs> I think, I think we're, we're also thinking about those guys up there, you know, because, you know, once you get through, it's like, and then, you know, and I feel for anybody that's ever been on, on that side. So, like, it's just right now, I don't know, we've just kind of been yeah, uh, all over the place. Just overwhelmed. So, yeah. I love you, Lee! Never expected. <laughs> I thought when you said my name that I was going to go home. You know, I was getting ready to sing. Is that what you thought? But, um, like, I, like he said, you know, you hoping for the best for everybody, and this is a rough situation, so it's just still kind of waiting. We've got your family up there since it's so overwhelming, so you see them on the couches. Now let's get back to Mike and Crystal. One of them will be in our top three. Good luck to both of you. Dim the lights. Here we go. The person who is in the top three after the nationwide vote is Crystal. Yeah. 
Dallas Hawks. Congratulations. You may take a seat. One of the most, speaking of intense, intense guys we've ever had on the television show. A guy that was saved, what, five weeks ago? Yeah, man. So what do you make of this entire ride, Mike? Uh, you know, it's been unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, you know. I just sit here right now and I think I, I wasn't even supposed to be here, you know. And thank God for the judges saved me and, you know, I got to spend more time here and be with the people, perform for my wife. You know, it's all good, man. Let's take another look at Michael's journey here at Idol. Watch this. The whole baby's out? Oh, man. I just can't believe I'm not there for this, but God's got a plan. I came to American Idol to really take my family's life to another level. My racing heart. It's just the same. I've never cried after hearing something like Why that. Make it it's strong, amazing. It it's the best day. performance we've had of all these live shows so far. So I say, I think I better leave right now before I fall any deeper. I thought that was uh, incredible. That was beautiful. <laughs> Somebody better show me <laughs> before I fall any deeper. We have decided. We're going to see you next week. Mike is a good person to look up to. He's always there with a big bear hug. He's just a really genuine, caring individual. Everybody here loves Big Mike. It's amazing that my little girl will be able to see that her dad was trying to be something so that she could have a better life. Before Mike sings, Kara, this guy's one of a kind. What advice do you have for Michael as he takes off? Do not stop. Keep going, write great songs, record great songs, and above all, go out and sing your heart out every night. Keep gigging, because you've got it in you. You gonna take it away? Michael Lynch, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is one more time. Oh. Like the river Jordan, say to thee, you are my friend. But they told me a man should be faithful and walk when not able and fight to the end. But I'm only human. Auditioned and had a baby along the way. We're gonna miss him. Damn, this is the jump off. Keep it going. Come on, man. Yo, happy you made us like that. See you tomorrow on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. soon, huh? Yeah. 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 You're gonna be fine, dude. Oh, yeah. You know it.
So that means, if you say goodbye to Michael, we have got your top three, ladies and gentlemen. Want to thank our judges once again. Ricky Minor and the band, as always. And thanks again to you at home for voting. We will see you next week on American Idol. Your local news is next. Michael Lynch, everybody. I love you, dude. Yeah, man. That's all good. Good. <laughs> Miss you, brother. It's all good, man. I'll be back in a few days. Never worry, never worry. Yeah. Gotta bring my kitty out here.